Hey guys, how are you? Happy Tuesday night, I believe it is. After the long weekend, I never know. I always get my days mixed up. It feels like a Monday, but it's actually Tuesday. Anyway, I hope that you guys, are my Canadian uh, friends and all that, enjoyed your Thanksgiving weekend. All right, so I wanted to come to you guys tonight. I've had tons of requests for ladies who wear glasses that um, want to know different tips and tricks for putting makeup on, okay? And a lot of the things that I have learned over the time is that, honestly, if you're wearing glasses, you can do a whole lot that I can do, all right? But I'm going to show you about five or six of my biggest tips to maximize it the most. Hi, ladies. How are you? <laughs> when you join, say hi. Um, and if you're watching the replay, feel free to hashtag replay in the comments so I can thank you. And feel free to share this because guaranteed you know someone in your life that is struggling with makeup that wears glasses. And maybe it might even be you. I don't know. Hi, Lindsay. How are you? Um, but it's, it's kind of one of those things. Hi, Trevina. How are you? Um, where... Yeah, I just want to come and show you some of my biggest tips that I could share with you. I don't wear glasses, okay, um, but I have, I just know some different things that I can do. Thanks, Lindsay. Okay, so um, first of all, I want to start with eye primer, okay, because I want to let it set for a second. And as I'm kind of going through this, um, comment with the glasses emoji in the comments, okay? So you basically just need a tiny little bit of eye primer. All right, this is gonna help your makeup stay put all day long, I promise you that. All right, yay for eyeglasses tips. <laughs> how are you, Myla? Okay, hi Jessica, how are you? Okay, so I'm gonna start with eye primer. All right, I already have my foundation on, I already have my concealer on, because that wasn't part of what I wanted to show you guys today. All right, I wanted to stick it strictly to glasses, and I even have, if you've been to a 3D movie, <laughs> I even have glasses to put on. They're not as trendy as probably your guys' is, but you get the point. <laughs> I took the lenses out just so you know. But anyway, so comment with the glasses emoji in the comments, okay? So are you guys ready? Ready for this? So my number one tip is to have eye primer, but anyone should be wearing eye primer anyway, all right? But glasses, I tend to feel like things kind of slide off a little bit more. Maybe you're touching eyes more. There's just more going on. So I like to always suggest having eye primer there so it stays put the way that you want it, okay? The second one is, um, if you're wearing glasses, chances are your eyebrows, hi Leanne, how are you? Chances are your eyebrows are being hidden, okay? They're be <laughs> yes, I look like a silly dork, and I wish I had cool eyeglasses like you guys, to be honest, <laughs> but I don't. So I have to improvise with my 3D cinema movie glasses, so you can laugh while you want at me, all right? But typically, you have, um, your eyebrows are gonna be more hidden, they just are. And if you're like me, my eyebrows are sparse to begin with. So you're going to see the difference on my brows and my sweet frames that I have here of what doing my eyebrows is going to do for you. Okay. Um, if you have really dark, beautiful shaped eyebrows, then I guess that and wear glasses, then I guess you are set. But the vast majority of women do not have that. So Quick, if you've watched my lives before, you know that I love the brow liner because it's quick, it's easy, but it looks really natural still, okay? So hi ladies, how are you that are joining? Feel free to comment with the eyeglasses emoji, okay? And if you're watching the replay, hashtag replay for sure. All right, so say hi once you join. If you are a glasses wearer, I want to know. So say that, put up your hand or something, okay? And I hope that these tips will be super beneficial for you. Again, if you um, share it with your friends, because honestly, I get asked this like almost daily, if not every few days, right? And um, I wanted to come on here and just tell you guys how confident you can be by applying your makeup with just a few extra little tips that I'm going to show you, all right? So see how just adding a little bit to my brow like that already makes a difference, okay? Now... I don't wax my eyebrows, I do pluck them, and sometimes I get out of control and I kind of forget about it, let's be honest, I'm sure you guys have the same thing, but I find if I can keep them more in shape by plucking them or waxing them, it makes it easier to have the shape for lining them. I know when I have to reshape up top and kind of everywhere else when my eyebrows are not looking that good, okay, or it's harder to find the lines. So if you are local to me and you have issues with your eyebrows, um, I wax them and I can shape them for you, okay, so you can contact me and I'll help you out with that because eyebrows are one of those things that um, 
I don't run a business with my waxing pot, so <laughs> you would just be doing it like trusting me with it. I actually used to work at a place called Merle Norman when I went through nursing school, and they did all the training there. So I did, ever since I've worked there, I've had a wax pot myself, and but I don't wax my eyebrows. <laughs> I just do other people, so kind of funny. Hi, Jamie. Hi, Cindy. Hi, Chelsea. How are you guys? Um, hi, Susan. Hi, Sherry. I already said hi to Leanne and everyone else, so <laughs> welcome, welcome. And do all of you guys wear glasses? I know Jamie does, Cindy does. Who else wears glasses? Myla does. Lindsay. All right, so first up was eye primer, number one tip. But honestly, if you're wearing eyeshadow, eye primer is kind of crucial as it is anyway, okay? So the next one is shaping your brows, okay? So you guys saw what my brows looked like before with the glasses, my sweet 3D cinema glasses, because I'm rocking. I should have, I was going to put on Emily's glasses, but she's like bat blind. I cannot. Hi, Ashley. How are you? Hi, Shelby. Um... I wouldn't even be able, like, you want to see what hers are? Her glasses, I mean, she's five, so they're pretty little. But, like, they're going to make my eyeballs look, like, really zoomed in. I can't even see anything. So, yeah, and they wouldn't fit my face. So you guys get stuck with my sweet 3D glasses. Okay, but you saw what my eyebrows looked like before. For those that are just joining, you can kind of watch the replay. But see how more defined that is already? Hi, Ash. <laughs> well, you're so, so sweet. Okay. You love rocking your glasses too? Okay, so see how it's a little bit more defined just having that eyebrow shape a little bit more. It's going to focus down here on your eyes, okay? Um, and whatever shape of glasses you have, that doesn't matter, all right? Some people like bigger ones, some people like smaller ones, some people like open like open bottom frames, whatever it is, um, just rock your glasses that you have, okay? So I'm gonna give you a few of my tips for glasses, okay? My mom does, this would be great for her. Oh yeah, well you can tag her, share it with her, whatever whatever works, okay? So eye primers first, then um, brows, okay? It can be something so simple as adding a powder in your brow with like the liner shader brush, or like I did, this is the dark brow liner pencil, all right? Top and bottom, fills it in, but yet you can still see hairs there. It's like supernatural, right? Okay, so on to the next tip. Now, I'm going to do uh, an easy eye look, okay, because I feel like people who wear glasses a lot, the biggest thing that I hear them say is that they can't do dark makeup or they feel like they need to keep their eyes bright or what's the point in wearing it because you're not going to see it anyway, right? So I just need a drink of water. So what I tell people is focus the darker bits on the outside of your eye. Kind of elongate it this way because if you're thinking your glasses are like this, this is my trick, okay? So it might not work for you and that's okay, um, but just kind of try it, okay? So I'm gonna, I go, like to go in with my crease brush and take like, um, so these are, I have a magnetic palette that I got off um, Shop Miss A for like $6.50. <laughs> it's pretty sweet. Normally they come in the quad packs, all right? So this is not how Unique brings them, but these are all Unique's little magnetic um, shadows, okay? So you can take any of the darker ones. I'm, right now for the fall, I really, really, really like these um, these shades, like that maroony, uh, this is Agile, and this is Fervent. Those two shades are probably one of my favorites right now. Um, so whether you have a hooded eye or not, all of these are going to work good for you, okay? So I'm just going to take a bit of that Agile, so it's this one right here, and I'm just literally going to put it on this outer corner right like this. And I'm not going to get too defined with it at this point because I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with it in a second, okay? But you're just going to put it right on this outer corner, All right, we're just gonna leave it like this. So yes, it looks a little bit funny at this point, but I promise you with the proper tools, this is where the blending brush is gonna come super, super handy. Okay, we're gonna leave the rest of the eye open like that. Gotta find my blending brush. This will be your new best friend, I promise you. Okay, so you're just literally gonna take it and we just wanna ever so slightly run it blend it into that crease area a little bit. So this is my crease, okay, where your bone meets your eyelid, that's your crease. You can feel where that kind of goes. You don't want to really go too much above that. You're just going to literally blend it out and kind of run it over there. All right, so look at the difference, you guys. <laughs> this is what blending does, not blending. You have to blend. And this um, brush is like the cat's meow. Hi, Fran, how are you? 
Yeah, this is the magnetic thing I was telling you about. Yeah, I told, I talked to Barb about it. So, anyway, so this is. Um, can you type in where you got that? Yeah, I'll I'll post it after in the comments. It's called shopmissa.com, and it comes from the states. All right, so you just literally blend that out like that, and you're just ever so slightly taking it into this crease. Just like that, okay? If you want to add a little bit more in that crease, to just you just lightly add, but just like this, okay? And then blend it out. And that's kind of where I stick to for that. All right. Now, we got to blend the other side. See what blending does, you guys? See what blending does? <laughs> it's a big difference. Okay, so I'm just going to lightly blend it. Again, we wanted to pull it into that crease area. So ladies, when you join, comment with the glasses emoji or like the person wearing the glasses, kind of like with the teeth sticking out or whatever. Comment with that. And if you're watching Catching the Replay, uh, comment hashtag replay. I'm always curious where people are watching from too because it's super fun to know where everyone is coming from. All right, so we're just going to blend this out. All right, you can add a little bit more if you want. Follow that crease bone. Blend like a windshield wiper. So all these tricks, whether you have glasses or not, you can do the side look, okay? But I just wanted to show you guys my little, few little tricks that I have for people that wear glasses because I get asked almost daily. <laughs> okay, now the one other thing that I like to do, and this is a very simple look, so I thought I'd keep it super simple because to be honest, a lot of women just want something simple, okay? It doesn't have to be anything over the top extravagant. So you could go in with, you know, a lighter shade like this. Um, we could go in with this one. This one's quite shimmery. Or you could pull a pink one that is nice and light. Um, but I wanted to show you guys how to use uh, a luminizer for eyeshadow, okay? This is probably one of my favorite... Um, favorite products that's so versatile and I put it on my eyes for eyeshadow all the time and with that primer popped underneath when and the concealer there too it's already like a neutral base right okay so I'm gonna take this take it and we are going to just apply it all over your whole lid I'm just using my deluxe brush see how it adds like an iridescency sheen to it it's such, this one's benevolent by the way, okay? So if you've watched my lives before, you've seen me use this as eyeshadow and you've seen all the different ways I can use it. Um, and that's why I wanted to show you guys because it's so, so um, versatile. All right, so I'm just gonna pack it in there. All right, ladies, comment with the glasses emoji. Show me which one is your favorite because there's just the glasses. There's just the little person with his teeth sticking out with the glasses or there's the sunglasses. And if you wear glasses, shout your hand up, okay? All right, so I'm lightly packing that on and just literally gonna go in like this. Okay, brush. Take it and blend it in just so that those lines soften that much more. All right, so you can kind of see how my eyes, um, they kind of elongate out, right? Like if the tops of my eyes are nice and bright. So again, we'll go back to the glasses. Hi Gail, how are you? Hi Tiffany. All right, so we started off with eye primer. Yes, these are my 3D cinema um, glasses that I pop the lenses out of, um, but I don't have glasses, so this is how I get to show you guys. Okay, so I did my, we started with eye primer, so nothing can slip off. Hi, Melanie, how are you? Um, hi, Megan. Now, I did my eyebrows. Okay, we want to frame everything on our face to keep it accentuated on our eyes, okay? Frame that all down. Now, I just did a simple eye look where we kind of keep it accentuated on the outer corners to darken to really draw that eye in, okay? Like that. Now, you wear glasses, Tiffany. Megan, you do too? Awesome. I don't. Uh, maybe I should. I had a prescription a while ago just for like driving at night um, from like glares and stuff. I honestly don't know where those glasses went and I should probably get my eyes checked again. Yes, but you can scold me another time. All right, so one thing that you can do, you can use a black liner to kind of make your lashes look thicker or you can add a pop of color for your eyeliner, you guys. Um, it's totally personal preference of what you like, but adding that pop of color along your lash line will make your eyes pop even more, but yet it's concentrated right along there. So do you guys wanna see black or do you wanna see color, okay? 
But I am going to say I do prefer people who have glasses. I tend to lean towards like a dip and draw liquid eyeliner. Doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be a cat eye or not. But it's for the purpose of it is that it literally stays put all day long. That's the biggest thing. Anything that's close to your eyes or anything like that, we just don't want it to fall off. Okay. So, Lindsay, you say color. Okay. Just give me a second. I, I had black out. <laughs> but I'm going to get. We're going to go with, sorry, we're going to go with patronized. Okay, color, color, color. Your three-year-old lost them at the moment, but that's funny. Well, and my eyes weren't bad enough that I could wear contacts, so I had to have the glasses for driving at night and more like re reading style glasses, so I should probably get my eyes checked again. Okay, so I'm going to be using this color, okay? It's called patronized, and I know if you've watched me before, you've seen me do this. Um, it's actually one of my favorites, so I have no problem showing you. All right, so you can either choose to do a normal line. One color that I really like to pull on people with glasses, too, is purple. I swear it just makes eyes stand out even more. All right, but we'll go with, you can do a, just a light line like this. See if we can get closer. You can do a thicker line. All right, honestly, you can do exactly what you would normally do for someone who didn't have glasses. But by adding a pop of color here, it is gonna accentuate it more than adding a pop of color on your eyelid, all right? Total personal preference. So if you are someone that wears glasses and wears color eyeshadow, that's totally fine. There's no rules for makeup, okay? These are just some of the tips and tricks that I've kind of learned over the years of how to accentuate it even more, okay? So if you enjoy wearing colored eyeshadow, give her. I'm not saying that you can't, okay? because I know a lot of ladies that do and absolutely rock it, okay? I'm sorry, I'm missing all these comments. You use cheeky and flippant today. Yeah, no, that's awesome. That one's from palette number three, in case anyone's wondering. All right, so I'm just gonna go along and do this. Now, if you're someone that does not want a winged eyeliner, keep it like this, okay? If you wanna add a little bit more flair to your eyes, outwards to elongate them in the frame of your glasses, you can do a cat eye. Or as we call it, winged eyeliner, okay? So it's whatever you choose to do, but it's gonna be more off to the side. And again, it's dependent on your eye shape and your personal preference, okay? But by adding a liquid liner in color across here, black is just gonna make your lashes look thicker, which is amazing too. All right, but by adding a color here through your glasses, you're going to see that pop. Okay, so I'll put on my sweet, sweet glasses <laughs> like that. You can see that color through my lenses, okay? So yes, <laughs> these are my 3D glasses for those who, don't, who are just joining now. But you can see that color, can't you? It's totally, totally obvious. All right, so let's go in. I'm going to just add, I wanted to show you guys what a little bit, just a slight wing will do. So I'm basically going out just like this. And I'm going to kind of connect it here. So it's basically just a little bit of a shorter version like that, okay? This is going to, again, I'll show you the difference just in case. And don't be scared. If you've never done this before, I learned you guys. I never did liquid eyeliner till Unique came out with them. I actually um, was really scared of it. <laughs> so if I can learn, you guys can too, all right? But you see the difference, how it elongates my eye out that way? And when I get mascara on, it's going to be even more. So this is the dip and draw for those just joining now. And it's not going to go anywhere. Okay, so I have to make them even, obviously. So basically, it's just adding an extra little bit on that outer thing. Hi, ladies that are joining. How are you? Feel free to comment with the glasses emoji or put your hand up. Wave at me if you wear glasses because maybe these tips will be helpful for you. All right, so we started with eye primer. Then brows help frame that in, okay? Then we did an eye look where we kept it bright here and kind of accentuated on that outer corner. So whether you have hooded eyes or regular eye shapes, you could do this look, okay? 
You actually like that look with the glasses. Yeah. I was talking too much now. I needed to re-dip it. <laughs> uh, so these dip and draws last for a really long time. Because they are so liquidy. And this color is actually um, uh, limited edition. So kind of once it's gone, it's gone. Hi, Jessica. How are you? Okay. So something so simple, no matter what your eye shape is, how you do this extra little wing thing is going to depend on your eye shape. But you just basically carry it. Um, I've done other ones where they go up higher. Okay. This is just an extension of your eye. Okay. They're almost going out just almost sideways. Okay. But look at when you put your glasses on, it's going to make it just everything make your eye everything that you can do to make your eyes look bigger that's the point okay so framing with the brows pulling that out and then having that darkness on the outer corner to focus it in keep it bright on the inner corner okay hi guys how are you all right so the next tip <laughs> that i have i wanted to we'll just continue with the luminizer because i didn't finish off with that um it's the same as what anybody else would do Okay, you take your luminizer in the color Benevolent or something lighter like Iridescent or um, Benevolent, okay? And we're basically, sorry, I got eye goopies. You know how that goes. I washed my face and then didn't, uh, got to get rid of those. <laughs> Everyone gets those, but hi, Tracy, how are you? Okay, do you have glasses too? All right, so I'm going to take my deluxe brush, same brush I used to put it all over, but we're gonna put the luminizer on the inner corner of our eye. Okay, this is the same tip that I have for making everyone's eyes look bigger. But in glasses, it's something that adds that much more, right? So it's going to really pop, plus you wanna put it in here to pull that eyebrow up and open the eye up even more. So same tip that I have for everyone else, same for glasses, okay? Just take your blending brush again and just basically you just kinda of wanna blend those two together so there's no no harsh lines, okay? Keep it like that. Now, another thing, oh, I didn't put any on my cheeks. We'll go, I'll do the bronzer first, okay? So I wanted to show you guys a simple way. Sometimes when we wear glasses, it tends to make our noses look a little wider, okay? I don't know about you, um, and maybe you're not self-conscious about that, I don't know, but I've heard this from other people that they feel like their nose just kind of sticks out like that, okay? Um, so I'm gonna show you, I didn't do any bronzer or any blush on me because I wanted to show you what I do. For contouring the cheeks and everything, still stays the same, okay? There's nothing that you would change about that. All right, so we're just gonna add, this is the color Malibu. Um, sunset is probably what I should go down to. As you can see, this is a lit, like getting a little bit darker on me now that my tan fades. Although, when I go to Punta Cana here soon, I will have my tan back. <laughs> All right, so. We're going to blend that out though. Basically, you take the tip of your blusher brush like this, kind of tap it off, and then go backwards. You can go down, whatever you choose to do, there's no right or wrong way. But basically, you want to go from the hollow of your cheek under your cheekbone. Okay? Then we're going to just lightly dust it around here, same as what I do for anyone else. Take it along your neck. We got to make that neck look a little skinny. <laughs> okay. So, but I'll show you one thing I like to do, and you can take your blending brush again with your bronzer, and we're basically going to be contouring our nose, okay? Don't worry, I will blend this in, but I just wanted to show you guys what I kind of do to get that shape in there to elongate your nose, okay? So you can just, and this is just with a bronzer, you guys, okay? This is nothing fancy, if you got it anyway. All right, then I lightly, you can either take a blending bud and kind of just damp it down, all right, because it's got a little bit of that concealer on it already. Um, just go like this. So see how it already makes my nose look a little bit more elongated? It's crazy, hey? But yeah, when you look at the side, it's not like you can see, see it there. It just creates the illusion that there's a shadow. All right, so let's put these glasses back on. You can see, see? If get got rid of this area here as a little bit okay so that's one of my tips too if you're worried about that just take your bronzer with a small little brush run it down just the sides okay you can run it on the tip and you're good to go you can take your luminizer if you really want and run it down here too to accentuate right at the button note like right at that tip 
just to really draw that down a little bit farther. I forgot to put on my cupid's bow too, so we'll just do it there. Okay, but you see how that simple trick of elongating your nose is going to help when you have glasses on too. So we did primer first so it doesn't slip off, brows, outer corner make it a little bit darker, lighter keeping it in. We did a pop of color along the lash line so that you can see that pop in the glasses. Okay, so colored eyeliner, sorry I got a hair somewhere. Colored eyeliner is awesome for, oh I could totally have a hair somewhere, for um, making your eyes pop and you can see it there, okay? Um, that's kind of just one thing that I like to do. All right, so then we did contouring your nose. Another little trick, and this is the same as what I've showed you guys before, all right, is actually running um, a little bit of shadow, so same as that Agile, that darker color I did on the outskirts, it's this one right here, okay? And literally running it under my eye, same as I do anyone else, but it's gonna just help kind of focus it in a little bit more. Just, oh, whoops, as I stab myself in the eye. Hi guys who are joining, how are you? Feel free to comment if you wear glasses and share this. If you guys share this, comment so I can say thank you to you, okay? First of all, but guaranteed you know somebody that wears glasses that is struggling with how to do their makeup and these tips are going to help them, I promise you, okay? So just take a little bit underneath like that and it's gonna help, again, draw that eye in. That's what we're going for here, okay? Now, Biggest thing that I hear too, another another biggest thing, is that when people who wear glasses say that when it sits here, they slide down or they're left with indentations or the foundation slides off or, you know, cheeks hit on this upper part here and then it gets kind of leaves indents there. I have chubby cheeks. I totally get it. Things hit there. My sunglasses hit there. Sorry, I still have that hair somewhere. Anyway, um, so it hits here and in that other other part, right? So... Biggest thing that I can say for that is a setting powder, okay? So this is a translucent powder. If you have um, a different face powder, this will work too. That will work too. It just doesn't um, stay put as well as a setting powder, okay? So we have what's called the Behold Setting Powder, right? It comes like this, and there's like a little meshy meshy doodad here that keeps the product in there but yes it looks white but it's translucent okay so one thing that I like to do I take the other end this is my powder brush that I like to use but I take the other end that's a little bit smaller it's a little bit more controlled and I basically take it tap the product off and everywhere that your glasses are gonna touch or like basically under your eye that you wanna um, help set you're basically just gonna put this powder all underneath your whole eye okay and we're basically packing it on so that it doesn't basically it's going to it's called caking okay or like baking whatever basically it's going to kind of bake that on cake it on <laughs> for you underneath here and so that it can't come off okay this is one thing that I find really, really helps when I do makeovers for ladies that wear glasses so that we don't get that slippery feel with our makeup underneath so that it um stays put and doesn't doesn't become that greasy feely slippy slidey look okay if you wear glasses you know what I'm talking about <laughs> all right and it doesn't feel nice so a setting powder just literally goes in and does it for you okay so I kind of just set your cheeks a little bit here we'll fix where we went over on top of that um, with the blush that I'm gonna apply after okay but we're basically just in a way or another, baking it on. If you've heard baking, this is like a short version of baking, okay? And then, where your nose pieces go, put it there too. Okay, you wanna make sure that you're just kinda packing it on so that, all right. Then, what's left over, you're basically going to just dust your face underneath, okay? It's gonna just lightly come off the stuff that's on there and you're just going to brush it off. Okay, that will prevent or at least help from that getting that slippery, slidey feel that we all get from wearing glasses. Okay, so if your cheeks touch or either obviously your nose touches, um, it's going to prevent that. Okay, let it set for about five minutes and or not even just as, once it's on, but you have to kind of put more on than you think you do, than you need. All right, but then 
Once you have that on there, the, any of it of that excess, just lightly brush it off with a brush and it will just fall off, okay? So um, it works really well. I mean, people who don't wear glasses wear this to help set their makeup so they don't get creases under their eyes, right? So there's multi-uses for this. All right, so I'm just gonna add a bit of that blush, okay? So I'm gonna go in with the color Spirited. Again, the tip of my blusher brush, you don't need much because it is highly pigmented. All right, we're just gonna finish this off. So you can still put your makeup on like you would. If you've seen me do my makeup before, I do the base face where I have the bronzer contouring and then the blush right like this, okay? That's all the same. And we did the luminizer other places, so by all means, you can take it and put it on your cheeks as well, okay? Nothing different there. Now, some people say their lashes hit um, their eyeglasses. Does that happen to any of you guys? That you have such long lashes? Okay, I've had that comment quite a few times as well. All right, um, so the Epic Mascara is a nice, it's a nice mascara because it's buildable. So you can create whatever length you want to create um, for it. And yeah, like you can, it's totally your choice what you want to do with that, okay? So if you have really long lashes and you just want to lightly coat it, by all means, just put one coat on. But if you want to build it up a little bit to where it's customizable to you, um, that's where the Epic is so awesome that way. So I'm just going to put it on. So I would just say try it and see how many layers you like and what works for you. Um, yeah, I can only imagine what that feels like. I know a lot of people who say that they don't wear falsies when they wear glasses and that's totally fine it's your your choice what you want to do but I love the epic for the way that you can literally build it up as much or as little as you want so and some people who actually who use the lash serum say that they only need one length one coat of this with their glasses because the lash serum actually has helped their lashes grow too right so all right so I'm just gonna go in I know that the glasses that I had, my eyelashes did not touch. Um, so I guess it's just personal preference how many coats you go in and do, okay? So on a normal basis, I do about three. But for some people, maybe that's too much. So you could just try with one and kind of see how it goes, okay? But my other tip that I'll show you in a second as soon as I'm done this is that you want to help frame that eye in, okay? And I'm going to show you just by applying mascara to the bottom of your lashes is going to do that okay so I'm going to show you what it looks like without the bottom done and then show you with it all right you wear one coat with your glasses yeah yeah no I know exactly one coat does look amazing okay so there's yeah roughly one and a half two-ish coats um, on my lashes okay but look at my bottom lashes without mascara done. And I'm going to show you with mascara, okay? On the bottom. Because there's some people who don't wear mascara on the bottom. And I wanted to kind of show you what it does and how it kind of frames the eye in and makes it look actually bigger. And then before you guys leave, I have one more tip for you, okay? So I'm going to show you what this looks like with this. And then, the, the idea is to make your eyes look as big as possible, okay, so that no matter what frame you have sitting there, your eyes are going to still look nice and big, nice and open. Hi, Deborah, how are you? Okay, are you ready? One more tip. Okay, I'm not going to do the other way because I want to show you guys what the difference of this is. I just want to kind of run it under here for a second. Okay, I like to add white. This is called tight lining. <laughs> white liner or a nude liner to brighten this part up. I'm going to show you the difference, okay? Already you can see the difference. That's going to make your eye 
look brighter. So these are my <laughs> these are my sweet 3D movie sunglasses or glasses. So I pop the lenses out so I can show you guys. So I haven't done the bottom lash on this side, but can you guys see the difference of how much bigger this eye looks? Hey, just by adding bottom mascara and that white tight lining. Okay, so I'm gonna finish that off so you guys can kind of see. That's awesome, Deborah. I know I haven't talked to you in so so long. Hopefully everything's going good with you. So yeah, so for those ladies who have glasses, like I said, if you missed it, um, this Epic Mascara is buildable to how you want it. You can create many different lengths if you want to. Um, it just depends on, on you and what you want. All right, so even just that, can you guys see the difference between tight lined and no white there? This one looks brighter, hey? Totally, okay. So we're gonna just go in and line like this. All right, back to bright. How do you look so good in those? <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Morgan, I swear people have glasses like this. <laughs> that's so funny. What happens if someone has leaky eyes like me and can't wear the liner on the inner line? Um, then, then don't do it. <laughs> okay, there's nothing saying that you have to. Where I put the white, yeah. So these, have you tried our white liner? Because they are smudge proof and waterproof. Eventually, because it is so liquidy there, they are going to come off, okay? But if you're headed out for like a fun evening out, you can just throw it in there and chances are it's still going to somewhat be there. It's still going to brighten it, okay? Um, even on me, it disappears throughout the day, okay? Um, but if you're just going out for a little while, or you, like it's still gonna last quite a few hours, but it doesn't, if I were to wear it from the time I woke up in the morning till bedtime, you wouldn't see it by the time I go to bed, okay? So if you're going out and you wanna, you know, are you working, whatever you're doing, just add a bit of that um, white there, because these ones are smudge proof and waterproof, so they last quite a long time. If you have leaky eyes, um, where your eyeliner smudges too, these pencils are amazing. Seriously, they're creamy, they literally go on, but they're smudge proof, okay? So just try it, Lindsay. And I mean, the tight line, it is, because it's so, um, like I say, liquidy or whatever you wanna call it, it, it's not gonna last as long as if it were on the skin, okay? I look adorable in these glasses. <laughs> oh, you guys are way too kind, okay. Anyway, they were the only glasses I could find, you guys, and I literally found them in an old purse because I, yeah, took the kids to a movie a while ago. Anyway, this, once it dries, is not gonna come off, okay? It's like, anyway. Same with the colored liner that I did, um, that you can see, patronized, okay? Doesn't it add a fun little bit of a pop? Okay, so those are my tips for you guys. Honestly, eye primer, frame your brows, okay? Even without glasses, you should frame your brows so that it helps frame your face, okay? Then the other thing is, I'm trying to remember everything that I said. I contoured my nose to make that look slimmer, all right? So some people say that sticks out on them sometimes. Um, I wanted to keep the eyeshadow outward, brighten the inner, and focus it in. So I added that extra little bit of a cat eye on the outside. That's totally optional because I know that that's a personal preference. But I did add a bit of that plummy color eyeshadow on the top in the outer corner and then on the bottom about um, a third of the way over. And then I tight lined with the pristine white eyeliner. All right. And I would say the number one thing for helping with people who wear glasses so your makeup doesn't fall off is the setting powder. Okay, I applied it with the powder concealer brush and it will make it so that your face isn't as slippery. And if you still have troubles with that, that's where you need to wear primer underneath your foundation so it sticks better. And the setting spray will act as like almost a hairspray for your face too, okay? So guys, those are my biggest tips, okay? If you have any other questions, don't hesitate to ask. And feel free to share this with anyone because I know there's a lot of women out there who need help with their glasses, glass wearing makeup, okay? I hope you have an amazing night, and if anyone has any other suggestions for me or things that, like, I did this because you guys asked me to. Um, and if there's anything else that you're wondering what you wanna do or something that you're just not understanding, just send me a message or pop it below, and I'd be happy to answer those questions for you, okay? If I don't know, I will find the answer. <laughs> All right, and if there's anyone out there who wants to know more about what it is I get to do and why I'm so excited about um, my business and everything. I would love to share that with you too, because it has completely changed my life. <laughs> so thank you guys and have an amazing
amazing, amazing night. Um, yeah, thank you so much for tuning in. We'll see you later.